All right, been promising this for a, quite a while. Figured I'd go ahead and get it while the shop's clean. Um, pardon the shakiness is done off my phone, but do a little quick shop tour. Uh, start over here right by the door. This is kind of just miscellaneous shit. Um, got the, uh, that's my tempering oven, uh, uh, converted cookie oven. Got the controller up top. Uh, the wood stove that I hope to eventually put into use. Bunch of belts hanging up there. This is where all the grinding go is done. There's grinder I've had for a while. Uh, the one by 42, another one over there in the corner that I don't ever use anymore. Some miscellaneous crap hanging up here. Really the only thing that I use on there would be off of that row right there. The, uh, the mic is probably the, the number one tool I use, period, other than a grinder. It's a 2x72. It's a, one of those grinders in a box. Assemble yourself. Dust collector. It's a new, a new grinder. I'm mocking up a tool rest for it. I get that done. Got the VFD already on there. It actually came with uh, back over here a little 10 inch 10 inch bandsaw i gotta get uh, new wheels for that so keep stowing the blades off right now i don't know what i'm gonna do with this yet really the only thing i use that for now is uh cutting the loveless bolts so it's kind of can't seem to get the slop out of it um, over here you got a little miniature vise where we're sanding the flats bunch of sandpaper and crap back there it's miscellaneous crap this is where handles get mocked up um, get glued on some of y'all might remember that and need to get back on that here soon new press go along with the new logo stamp that's not going to focus. Shop's uh, 15 by 20. I've got a lot of shit crammed in here. Um, dust collector, more shelf with uh, just miscellaneous crap on there. Got the top secret shit box. Make sure to keep that away from Hillary Clinton. She can't keep the top, any secrets, you know. Uh, the drill sharpener back there, buffer, even heat. This is probably next on the list to get replaced. It's uh, seen as better days. Another one over there. And more miscellaneous crap. There's a welder down there. Uh, a little small oven. Toaster oven, kerosene heater. Just, like I said, miscellaneous shit. Then, got another room on the back. There's a lean-to. I put the door in. This is a mess. Uh, the Frankenstein press. I set that thing up a while ago. Well, hell, years ago. Bought a piece of angle in there so I could do 90-degree uh, bends on aluminum when I was building dog boxes. A little small forge, router, quench tanks. That's where I was messing with that uh, tool rest. Bunch of traps that need to be cleaned up. Went and got this last night. Uh, it's right now it's set up for glass bead. I uh, got walnut holes. Um, tried using it today, but I haven't got a water separator yet. So I was having issues with that. Big exhaust fan, a little small lathe. Like I said, this room's 11 by 15. Just finished working on that today. Got it where it'll actually, the blade will actually stay on. I figure I'll, I'll go ahead and give Ed some proof here. Looky there. 
usually as soon as I power it up, the damn thing blades pop right off. But like I said, it ain't it's a lot of crap crammed into a little space. Um, I'm hoping this winter I'm going to add on a third building or third room. So this room will be strictly for grinding steel. This room will be strictly handlework, seeing as how it's a dirt floor, which I'll probably put a wood floor in here. And on the other side of that door and wall right there will be a heat treat room and my office. It's kind of funny saying that I need an office, but things have really grown. So. All right, guys, like I said, I've been promising it for a while. Figured uh, let me go ahead and knock this out. Thanks.